Welcome back to more over the Nexus, everybody. All right, we're gonna take on Callus Nula. So this is the fourth of eight um, shopkeepers in the game. So like I was saying in the last episode, um, I was hoping to do four uh, duels within one video, but that Gladiator Beast one honestly got so long that I just, I don't know, I just couldn't do another one. This one is called a Samurai, so I'm assuming he has a really good six Samurai deck. Um, six Samurai decks are pretty good at OTKing. FTKing, actually, um, as well, so. Actually, that might not be that, no. Oh, I might have a Sasuke Samurai. No, Lance. Okay, well, his deck is called a Samurai. So I thought it was a Six Samurai or a Sasuke Samurai, because one of them has to do with the, with the coin flip, so. I don't know. Okay, so Lancer Lindworm has, um. Yeah, just piercing. 1800 piercing, okay. Let's go ahead and summon. Lila. I'm gonna use the effect of Lila. To pop that. That is a fairy box, an incredibly annoying card. Let's do Foolish Burial. On the wolf. There we go. So this could actually attack over the Lancer Linworm. I'm also gonna go ahead and do Charge of the Light Brigade. By getting a... I got Celestia down there. I'm gonna get a Raikou. Let's go with that. No could've got Lumina, but I suppose it's fine for now. That's alright. Alright, that's all I can do. So I'm going to enter the battle phase here and attack with Wolf for 300 damage. Okay, end turn. Simple enough. Armored Beam. That's gonna destroy my um, wolf, unfortunately. But at least I have like, oh, I have a wait, Neko Gardena? Do I have that? Oh my god, I do. I do, don't I? So I can actually take advantage of that. Coming over here, banishing Necro Gardena, then it gets your attack. Yeah, because that effect is only until the end of the turn, unlike Blackwing Guild of the World, which is actually permanent. And that's actually all you did, so you know what? That's fantastic. Alright, any other graveyard effects? No. I'm gonna go ahead and summon Jane. Lila must stay in defense mode for now. I'll attack with Jane. Go up to 21, do 500. Then I'm gonna do 2100 more with Wolf. Okay, 2100. And. and a turn. Milf. Mil. Uh, Five. Five cards this turn. Okay, those are both dad mills. Okay, I can activate one dandelion. Just not both. Alright, well that's what you do here. You got four cards in your hand to work with. I mean, you have second coin toss, but I'm not seeing anything aside from fairy box. That uses coins. Another armored bee, seriously? Okay. Alright, so wolf is targeted again, down to 1050 once again. You're destroyed. That's okay because now I have space for my tuners. Alright, end phase. Let's see what I get. I got another Groth. Okay, um, so what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna go ahead and put you like that. Activate Lila. Destroy that. Summon Glow Up Bulb. That's four, five. I can make a set up to a seven. Um, I'll just bring out like, bring out Lightning Warrior. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so there's Lightning Warrior. 
Now I can activate you again by milling a card. There's a solar recharge. Okay. Gonna go ahead and do Cataster now by using these two. And that's actually it for my summon. No further grave artifacts, so I can get into battle phase here. I'm going to attack with Lightning Warrior, of course. That's going to be 800 plus 900 more damage. And then 22 with Cataster. This will put you at 12, and pretty much it for the duel. I really don't see you coming back, but I mean, we'll see. Yeah, so that's fine. That's pretty much a waste. Second coin toss. Defense mode, and that should be it. Okay. I will... Actually, you know what I can do? Might be able to win right now. If I just do this, and get some piercing going, Assuming your defense is low enough, I'm gonna win. I'm doing this because if you have a monster that's like immune to battle destruction, I can at least do damage to you. So I should be able to do this. 650. Yep. See? Look at that. And that's it. Alright, so that's one down in this video. I still have four more shopkeepers to deal with. Four more. Alright, Kalos Noodle, I'm gonna go with that one and this one. Oh, that's wrong. Well, damn. Okay. So that's it for here. Now I'm gonna head over to the stadium because the stadium does have the remainder of these shopkeepers. If you go to the very beginning on the left and right sides, you have these shops, and this is actually where you do all these people. I'm gonna go ahead and save. And we're just going to go ahead and dive right in into this person. Salida Nula. Yeah, a lot of them have Nula at the end. I think there's actually four Nulas. To be honest, I don't really know who's the hardest of the eight. I really don't know. Picture Musketeers. Also, an interesting thing is that in this game, I know in the beginning of the game I was like, oh yeah, any, like, any duel in Crashdown always uses that. You know, to um, decide who goes first. That's not true. It's any duelist who originally was in Crashdown. But as you can see, we're not in Crashdown right now. Uh, I'm gonna have to do this actually, because my hand is freaking flooded with. Yeah. Are you serious? Doing it again. Doing it again. Okay, that's not good. Um. Well, I mean, I actually, well, no, I already have three. No, I have four. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Uh, so in that case, I'm gonna go ahead and do a foolish burial on. I'm gonna get glow up bulb. Might be useful. Maybe. I'm gonna go ahead and set honest, and I'm actually not gonna set drink tri tribute. Believe it or not, because. My plan is to essentially just nuke the field next turn with Judgment Dragon. And I should be fine. That's also why I didn't set Beckoning Light in case you're wondering. Okay, that's fine. So. I'm curious, are you gonna banish both? Hmm. So you did. Okay, I suppose that's not a problem. That's fine. I guess they're setting one, setting two. That's worth paying a thousand for. Oh my god, I can normal summon Dandelion. Alright, I got a special summon and you. Yeah, I actually thought about it as soon as I draw. Like, should I normal summon it and blow it up? I don't think so. I don't think it's worth it. I'm gonna do this. Pay a thousand. Blow up. Oh, god damn it. Your stupid threatening roars. Well, that's fine. Um, 
In that case, I will go ahead and set Dandelion this time. And end the turn. Simple enough. Damn, look at all those dead mills. Jesus. Hmm. Didn't do anything else. I am... I'm gonna do it. Because it's a dandelion, so it's fine. What the hell is that? X Saber onto Piranha? That's what it looks like. Let me make sure. Yeah, it is. Okay. I'm also gonna go ahead normal summon Lila. I have some graveyard effects here. I can do... Well, that's only a one. Eh. It's not really worth it, I would say. I'm just gonna swing for 47 this turn. And that's gonna be it. It's minus 17. And then minus 3,000. So we're down to 2,900. And turn. Oh, Exile Force. Interesting. Okay. So you're gonna, like, kill yourself? Yeah, it's not worth doing that. Because you're only gonna be able to pop one monster by doing that. I'd rather keep the other, my Lila, on the field. Oh, and you're gonna destroy a token too, huh? Pretty smart. Destroying a token and then using your effect in main base 2 to destroy Judgment Dragon. That's pretty good. Good job. Yeah, I don't really have a player. I mean, I have Beckoning Light, but that's it. So there's another Dandelion. Um, over here I do have a Graveyard Effect. Aha, it's you. Okay, so what I can do is I can go ahead and bring out... Wait, I have another Dan... I do, or yeah, I do, I do, okay. I'm going to bring out Spore by banishing Dandelion from the graveyard. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and normal summon you. I'm going to go into a 7. Um, usually I go with my Lightning Warrior, but I guess this time I'll go ahead and do... I'll do Black Rose Dragon. Let's do that. Okay, so obviously I'm not going to use the effect of Black Rose Dragon because that nukes the whole field. But I'm going to enter battle phase and swing and that's going to be game right there. That's 17 and 24. Which is a hell of a lot more than 29. And that's it. Here we go. You win. Hell yeah, I win. Alright, so we still got three more opponents to duel. I don't know if I'm going to get through all of them, though, in this video. I know I can for sure get through two, more than likely, but we'll see. Hmm. Nothing there. Alright, well. Salida Nula has been defeated. Alright, moving on to the next one. This is actually going to be... This is Narumi. She is, isn't she the one that like held that freaking tournament or something? In the beginning of the game that rental deck tournament? Hmm. Yeah, and as you can see, because this is actually uh, Narumi is originally from Crash Town slash Satisfaction Town, that's why you have to do this, even though you're not so it has nothing to do with where you are, but it has everything to do with who or, or sorry, where that person is from. Pretty good, pretty good. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm going to set Beckoning Light plus Torrential Tribute, and that is it.
Okay, so using a dinosaur deck as a Jurak deck. I see. Summoning Jurak Guaiba. Uh, this is a monster battle. You can throw some one Jurak monster with 10 or less attack from your deck. You cannot declare an attack this turn. Holy sh. Hmm. Okay. Unfortunately, you're going to be able to special summon, despite me popping you. Or actually, wait, no, no, because that takes place after, right? Oh no, it does work, it does still work. Yeah. Once again, monsters don't have to be on the field to resolve their effects. I haven't read the comments if I got any about that whole Lila incident that happened, but in that particular case it did matter, Lila did need to be on the field to resolve that. Which is very strange to me. Okay, so what the hell is this? You can select one once I call your opponent controls or I turn it to the hand. That's honestly not a problem. Um, as far as here I have Raiko, Garoth, and Lumina already. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and set another Raiko. I know I've been starting kinda slow in this one. I'm not really getting good beaters to attack over, unfortunately. No Janes or Garots or Foolish Barrels to bring out Wolf. Man. Hmm. I should probably do this, to be honest, because if I can do um, get that going... I'm just gonna do it. It is a... it's fine. I'd rather do that. Alright, face down? That's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and throw my Lila, probably. That is an honest. Alright, Lila. Go ahead and attack. I'd rather you attack. Go. Alright, I'm gonna end the turn. See, the thing is, if I put her into defense punch, she's gonna get destroyed right away, and I really can't be affording that. I mean, technically I could, but... Oh, Dandelion? Okay. Okay. Jurak Protops, okay. That's that's fine. See in the in this case I should have actually used Lila's effect. God damn it. Oh, but there's no way to know this crap. That's right, set some more cards. So I can blow them all up in the end phase. Hell yeah. Oh, now I get a so Are you serious? That's fine. I mean, there's no way for me to revive. I'm going to special summon Judgment Dragon. And then I'm going to use the effect of Judgment Dragon. Oh my god, those sirens. I'm going to use the effect of Judgment Dragon to pay a thousand to nuke the whole field. What the hell is this? Oh, that's fine. I don't really care. Oh man, unless Tyranno Infinity comes around, that's going to be crazy. If that's the case. Alright, pretty good move right there. Good turn. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and summon Honest as well to do some bonus damage. And what can I bring out here? Plague Spreader. Um, I can bring out a 6. I think it's fine right now. I'm not in the position where I require the, the Synchro Monster. So I'm just gonna go ahead and avoid that. So attack at uh, 1100. And then 3,000 with Judgment Dragon, that puts you at 3,400. Gonna end the turn, I'm gonna be able to mill four more. Let's see what I mill. There's the wolf, okay. Got you. And it's your turn, Narumi.
That took way too long to only set one freaking monster in the room. Are you serious? All right, well, I guess I get to use the effect again just to be safe because if you have a freaking battle destruction immunity card, yeah, I'm just gonna use it again. Oh, I guess it could have bounced on his back, my bad. It didn't really matter though because his duel's over, but yeah. All right, so attack for a thousand with Sangan. And then we're gonna get Judgment Dragon to go for the win. That's gonna be it. So this leaves two opponents left, actually. So I'm at a pretty good pace because what I did, one, two, three, four, yeah, I've already done three duels within 20 minutes. So that's, that's not bad. That's really not bad at all. Hmm. Damn it. Got nothing. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, so next up... I'm gonna start by leaving here. And now I'm gonna be going over to the right side. So that's over here. Man, that's eight more duelists to duel uh, two additional times off screen. That's 16 more duels. This is Globe. Okay. Alright, Globe. We're gonna do this. We're going to duel and duel right. So let's see what kind of deck you got. So you got two face downs and then you summon this familiar possessed. That's interesting. I mean I can summon Blackwing. I guess that's not a bad idea, right? I can do that. I give it the effect. Target you. Go for an attack and then set Mirror Force in main base two. And that'll protect me from getting that's fine. Whatever. Yeah, it didn't matter too much because now, I mean, I'm still gonna destroy your card anyway during your show with Mirror Force, so I think I think it's okay. I think it's perfectly fine. Plus, I can just... I have Monster Reborn, so I can just bring him back and go for a level 7 Synchro. Yeah, so that's too familiar Possess. Man, that would be 3700 damage right there. Right there comes the battle phase. Gonna go ahead and use my face down, which is Mirror Force. Let's see if this works, and... Ooh, that's fine. I'd rather do that. you do that than the freaking negate. So you protected one, though that thing has 1500 defense. Keep that in mind. You're setting another one. Hmm. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start by summoning Lila. Using the effect, I'm gonna have to blind destroy one of these. I'm gonna destroy that. That was actually a very good decision. Oh my god. Another Sakuretsu armor? Holy shit. Alright, Monster Reborn on Blackwing. Kill the Whirlwind. Now I can go into a level 7. Which is gonna be. Hmm, that would actually kill itself, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go into Lightning Warrior because it has more attack than Herb Element. You only have one card in your hand, so I really don't see you ever going to four cards anymore in this duel. So I'm just gonna enter battle phase. Jesus Christ. I mean, how much defense do I have? Shit. That's not good. That's not good. I mean, you didn't use up all your resources, but still, I'm gonna really difficult situation because now you're gonna s destroy me next turn with your familiar possessed and you're gonna have another one I only have a garage in the hand I am running out of resources too look at that you just keep top decking familiar possessed shit yeah this isn't good I'm gonna have to heavily depend on what I draw here because if I don't draw something good 
It might be over. I might actually lose the duel. Oh my god. Is this really gonna happen to a stupid familiar possessed deck? Seriously? No, I know what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to use my Beckoning Light, probably. But wait, do I have another pl- Oh, no, I don't have another plant in the graveyard, though. Spore is useless. Okay. I might have to do something there with that. Holy shit. Okay, here we go. Solar Recharge, because this is not gonna work. If I just summon Groth and Crash. Hell yeah. That was a crazy good draw. Clutch. Alright, so there's Dark Hole, destroy both. And then bring out my own Groth. I'm gonna enter battle phase. Swing for 1850. And end the turn. Alright, I'm gonna guess that's a familiar- actually no, it wouldn't be, because if it was a familiar possess, I think you would normal summon it. Just regularly, right? There's a Lila. Um... I'm just gonna summon the Lila. I need to get to Mills, so even if I can't beat over you, that's fine. Um, I'll figure out a way to do some, 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 some good. Oh no, it was! I'm surprised you set. Hmm. It would've made more sense to- wait. Oh wait, no, that dude, I'm sorry, uh, never mind, just, yeah, just know what I just said. I totally saw the wrong art for whatever reason of the card, and I thought it was actually familiar Possess Hida, but no, it was Hida the Fire Charmer, that's different. You get mill three, that's two dead mills, one dead mill, but I did draw one card at least, okay. Plus, I have Judgment Dragon in the Graver, which means it's over. Do that. Okay. Let's see what I get here. But yeah, the duel is basically over. Oh, another judgment draw. Okay. Well, it's gonna special summon you, sure. Alright, so if I do. I want to make sure I do this, so I can end up winning. So if I grab my Lila and Garoth back, I guess, sure, that'll work out, because then I can do this. To destroy you both, and I can normal summon Lila, and that's it. That's game. And I'm gonna be at around 29 minutes. Oh man, I'm gonna have to extend this video a little bit, huh? Because I still have to do one more duel, and I really do want to get that in this video. That way I can just do all this off-screen grinding, like, together. It'd be kind of awkward to be like, Alright, next episode we're gonna start by dueling one more shopkeeper. That's gonna be a little bit weird. Okay. I'm gonna go for this one, and this one. Okay, DP. Damn it. Alright, so that's Globe. So, this fourth, or, not fourth. No, I said fourth. This eighth guy, it's gonna be something Nula, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Lagoon Nula. Alright, I'm gonna duel you. Bow before my mighty deck. Oh, really? Okay, well, we'll see. We shall see. Alright, so you're going first, I'm going second, I suppose that's fine. Please don't break, I want to beat this guy fast so I don't make this video super long. We'll see. That's that's good, that's good hand right there. That's good. Okay. I'll take that. Second coin toss? Okay, you have a luck base deck. Holy shit, that's not good. Alright, I, I need Judgment Dragon already. That that feel looks like a pain in the ass already, I can tell. Okay, here's what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to go ahead and do Charge of Light Brigade first. 
I'm going to bring out a Lila. Okay, so who do I have in the graveyard already? Let me see here. I have a Raikou. Damn it, MS2 would have been nice, dude. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to send Jane. No, I could actually, I think I have a plan. Because if I summon... Yeah, that makes the most sense. I'm going to send Jane. I would send Raiko, but no. Because I already have one in the graveyard. So I'm going to send you. What the fuck? Okay. Um, so if I had a way... Oh man, that would actually be interesting. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and summon Lila. I'm going to discard... Um, or sorry, I meant Lumina. Fucking god. I'm going to go ahead and discard Lila to special summon Lila. <laughs> It's funny that you can do that, but you can only do that if you have at least one other light sworn in the graveyard first. And I'm gonna use you to destroy this one. I'd rather do it in this phase because I know what you're gonna do. Okay, that's fine. Are you gonna target? Okay, you're stupid. Thank you. Not knowing that I'm gonna go into defense mode. Okay, but well, at least I got rid of that. So that's one card eliminated. Um, let's see if I make you use your other card. Yes, I did. Okay. Um. Are you sure? I don't really have a move though. That's it. I'm gonna have to mill six, which is fine. Just don't mill Judgment Dragon, please. Yeah, I'm not talking because I'm freaking pissed. God damn it. I milled the Judgment Dragon. Now I need Beckoning Light or the other Judgment Dragon. Okay, please don't destroy both of my Light Swords. I need to keep at least one in the field so I can tribute for Celestia. Come on, please let me. That only destroy one, that's fine. Don't flip it. Don't flip it. Don't flip. Fuck. Fuck. God. Oh my god. That's not good. That is not good. Now I cannot trigger Celestia next turn, unfortunately, unless I get a Monster Reborn. Foolish Burial will also help, but I'm running out of ideas. The best option that I see now is to Normal Summon Guild of Whirlwind to bring out Cataster by using the two tokens, and that'll eliminate your Search ability, because that's Cataster destroying uh, without battle. Honestly, I think that's going to be my move. Um, I don't really see any other way around this right now. I'm pretty stuck. Now, if you set a back row, that's another problem again, because you're just going to stall the duel out even more. This guy's so fucking annoying. Oh my god. He is literally saying, are you freaking kidding me? Holy shit. Okay, well... God damn it. And I get a dead draw as well? Are you serious? Serious. I'm so pissed right now. I'm so pissed. I'm trying. I'm trying to hold everything back, you know. All right, well, let's go ahead and summon Ally of Justice Cataster. We all know this attack is not going to land this turn. There's no freaking way. This guy has this annoying trap, so they're just prolonging the duel. All right, summon you. Threatening roar. It actually wasn't. I'm attack you. Oh my god, is it actually working? Oh my god, it fucking worked. I can't believe that actually worked. Alright, um... Once again, it's... Oh man, my, my turns just feel so useless. Like, I'm not, I'm not doing a lot. Because I just... I don't have much to work with, you know? This is gonna take forever. I, I was hoping this duel would be over in like 8 turns. It's definitely not. I'm not even close. I'm not even halfway through the duel yet. I really need my Judgment Dragon to come through, or Beckoning Light would work too. If I can just get another Light Sworn, that'd be good because I have Celestia who can just pop two. That would also be really helpful, but... It's much easier said than done, because it is not easy sometimes to get a Light Sworn on the field without, without using a Normal Summon. I only have one Monster Reborn, and one Foolish Barrel, and I can't even use Foolish Barrel anymore on Wolf. 
I'm gonna have to summon Jane. That's my only play. I, I hate to say that, but it is. Alright, you're gonna attack this thing because I don't want any battle floating to happen. And I really hope that Faison is not a third Shining Angel because if so, that's such stupid bullshit RNG. You've literally drawn eight cards and you're about to get... Oh my god. I mean, that's kind of like a freaking Shining Angel, right? Oh my god, this guy's so fucking annoying with his stupid lights. Luckily, I have Cataster, but the thing is, you have to survive one turn. If Cataster fails to survive, I hope at least Jane survives. Honestly, only one of them has to survive next turn for me to be good. Because if Jane survives, I can tribute it for Celestia. And that can pop too. I just need to end this duel fast. I'm up to 36 minutes now almost. And I really hate going to 40 minutes. I'm not going to do that. Okay, that worked. Thank God. So what I'm going to do is Tribute Jane for Celestia. I'm going to destroy the two face downs because Catastrophe can deal with the Marshmallow, so it's fine. I'm going to deal with that and that. Oh my god, that's fine, that's not horrible. It's just I'm going to be doing less damage this turn, unfortunately. But at least I'm getting rid of your cards. Alright, enter battle phase. You can get rid of that. Okay, and then Celestia can attack for 1150. Also, I just realized I had a freaking... What? Oh, I had a graveyard effect. Damn it. I'll just do it next turn, it's fine. I couldn't do much this turn anyway, so it, it's perfectly fine. Alright, you're down to two cards plus a second coin toss. I feel pretty comfortable now. I feel confident. I'm hoping I can get rid of that thing. I don't want to. I don't want to attack into face on defense positions. This guy has a stall deck. It's very obvious. Yeah, I don't want to deal with stalling right now. Uh, let's see what I got here. I have a spore. Um, do I have a dandelion? I do. Okay. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and bring out the spore. Dandelion. Okay, so I have to make... Okay, that's a four. If I summon you... They can make a Bryonic, and then... And then that's it. That's literally it, right? Yep. That's game. So I bring a Bryonic. That's a six. I can discard one, bounce the monster back, attack with all three, and that's game. Okay. Cool. I did it. And it went, it went pretty long for this freaking video, but you know what? It's fine. It's okay. The duel took nearly 10 minutes. Alright, I'm attack with Bryonic for 23. Uh, Catastrophe for 22. Wait a minute. Oh my god. You have got to be kidding me. The worst part is that I actually could have won if I special summoned Plague Spreader Zombie, so that's totally my fault for doing that, but I could have sworn I did the math right, so now I'm just delaying the inevitable. This guy literally has 50 life points left. Really? I mean, that's totally my fault. Again, I'm not gonna be like, oh my god, game, because no, it's not the game's fault. For once, it's not the game's fault, it's mine. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's just fucking end this shit, seriously. So stupid. Alright, just discard whatever, please. Just that, that's fine, I don't care. Do that. Alright, so if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to like, I'd appreciate it very much, thank you. And as always, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great and, of course, a fantastic day.